When's the last time you went to the movie theaters and watched the latest blockbuster on the big screen? Well, the ease of streaming is having a direct impact on locally owned theaters, like the historic Manlius Arts Cinema. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith checks in with the owner to see how business has been there. The show must go on, and it sure has at the Manlius Art Cinema, but since reopening last April after the COVID shutdown, business has been a struggle for longtime owner Nat Tobin. As variants popped up, business would fall down, then it would slowly come back, and we'd get another variant. So, you know, it's, it's been on and off. We've shown five of the Best Picture nominees this year, um, and... We have some great films lined up, but, uh, you know, you can't fight what you, what you can't fight, and, and that's the pand pandemic. Now, during the pandemic, the Manlius Art Cinema received the Shuttered Venue Operators Grant from the federal government. Tobin tells me that that money is eventually going to run out, so when it comes to the future of the Manlius Art Cinema, he says... So we'll see what happens afterwards, uh, you know, when, the, when that money ends. Uh, which will be so shortly. I'm not homeless. I'm just houseless. Another obstacle for the historic cinema, the ability to stream the newest movies right from home. Tobin says mid-range films are being swooped up by the popular streaming services, limiting the selection at the Manlius Art Cinema. You know, it is a communal experience to see a movie in a theater rather than on your couch. We hope People will try out the theater, and we hope that we will make them feel so comfortable and welcome that they'll want to come back. To keep this cinema standing for 100 more years. In Manlius, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Adrian, thank you. Films coming soon to the Manlius Art Cinema include Mothering Sunday and Duke and The Petite Maman. Ticket prices and information can be found on localsyr.com.